Hey, this is Sputter. I want to show you a project I've been working on. I've been um, adding a touch sensor to an Arduino for a project that I'm working on. So let me show you. This here is my um, setup. I've got got just a standard Arduino. This is a Borduino running off of a USB interface. And this right here is an Atmel uh, QT. 118 generic touch sensors they're in about three dollars you can get them on digikey or mouser um they have the qt 100 the qt 113 the qt 118 um it seems like they've changed pretty often so i got the 118 and let's fire it up and show you how it works basically all we have is we have power ground a capacitor and a touch sensor Right now it's not hooked up to the Arduino, it is just hooked up to this LED so that when we get a positive touch, uh, we get the light on. Now, and unfortunately they don't have any through hole parts, which makes it a lot easier for prototyping. So I just did a quick and dirty etch onto some basic um, copper clad and then just did a little quick solder job so I could take the surface mount part and turn it into a through hole part. Um, now as far as the only real tricky thing is these things need to be calibrated. Um, they recalibrate every time they get power but the way that they do calibrate themselves is through the capacitance that you have. The spec sheets recommend that you have between a 10 nanofarad and a 500 nanofarad. However, I've found that those don't work all that great. These are some I went and bought today. These are 22 microfarad, or in other words, um, 220 nanofarad, which is right in the middle of what the recommended um, capacitance, but I find that they're far less sensitive, these ones are. Um, this capacitor that I had is a 600, which is a little bit more than, the, than they recommend, but I find the sensitivity is much more accurate than with the 200. Um, fire it up, recalibrates itself, and as you can see, it's not super sensitive. Some touch sensors, if you even get close, It'll uh, detect, it'll set it off. This one, even if you gently brush it, sometimes it won't turn on. And if you're really quick, a lot of times it won't even pick it up. It's pretty intentional. You have to really mean to to hit it before it, it will go off. Um, I'm going to be making some breakout boards of these and incorporating them into my new project. Um, one final thing to note, with these there are two different kinds. There is the 118, however there's also the 118H. The difference being that the 118 outputs low when there's a contact and high otherwise, the 118H is the opposite. So basically 118H stands for high. Whenever you touch it, it goes high. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. Three bucks, get a touch sensor on your...